Hi guys. I, I've been, as always, I, I continue my studies. You know, I might have been doing this for 46 years, but my studying and training of myself does not stop. And I, I've come across a video, you know, hmm, that, that is simply just really upsetting. You know, we've got the purely positive people, uh, you know, the Dogs Trust, the Kennel Club, the RSPCA, blah, 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 and the rest of it. All wanting to ban tools, okay? It's not tools people that is the problem, it's the people that, that doing the training that are the problem. I'm, I'm going to link a video below. It's up to you if you want to watch it. I am going to categorically state here and now, it is distressing. It is distressing. But, you know, you stick a muzzle on a dog and you can abuse it as much as you like. And that's what this video is. It's out and out abuse. The dog is injured in the process. Okay. It, it is crying in pain. All in the name of dog training. And as a dog trainer, it makes it breaks my heart. You know, it, it, it really does. I'm not against the use of tools at all when used humanely. And yes, all tools can be used humanely, including remote training aids like e-collars when used correctly conditioned and used on low levels only um, I don't think tools should be banned I do think they should be licensed I do think they should be taught under the guidance of a qualified trainer who knows what they're doing and um, you know this I just want to bring this to you you know if you really want to see what's going out going on out in the world just go to YouTube search bar and put in cruel dog training and you will see what I mean okay that I will link this particular video it is your choice or not whether you want to watch it I hope you're all doing really well